Hey guys, it's Dominic, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys automation and workflows inside of Go High Level, and basically break down why I use them so often, why they are like 90% of the output of what I do for different businesses, and how they can help you if you're an agency, or how they can help you if you're a business. Um, and also why I use these in terms of my marketing as well. So if I'm using, if I'm doing an ad on Facebook, I'm most likely going to do an in article form uh, and then connect it to my go high level, connect it to my workflow here. And I will show you guys how that's done as well, because it's all about automation. It's all about automatic text, emails, um, setting up appointments. You don't want to spend all your time doing that manually. So this is why this is going to take over completely um businesses and agencies if it hasn't already so we can either start from scratch if you want to make a brand new one or you can go through here and you can see all these ones that they have made for you that are already done so we've got like appointment confirmation um, plus a reminder and a survey and a review request all done automatically you also have a google my business message alert um, appointment bookings list reactivation all of these even this fast five this one's new um, this is for like um, messaging leads like right away. This is usually connected to a ad, some type of ad. So we're going to start from scratch so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like when you start a workflow from scratch and kind of everything that you can do inside of one. I can't cover it all because it would take like hours to cover everything that they do. But the first thing you do inside of a workflow is you're going to add the new workflow trigger. And when you're inside of here, you can see all the different triggers that are offered. So before I do anything, I'm going to break down the Facebook one. Uh, we'll cover CRM in a second, but Facebook's easy and fast. So if you're running a campaign on Facebook and you're pushing in article forms, which is what I think everyone should be pushing at this point, because Facebook wants you to do it as well. And it's what I use for my um, the real estate companies. So that just means whenever someone presses the learn more button or sign up button or anything like that on your ad, they're going to have an option to put in their name, number, and email. And as soon as they press submit, you can set this up right here to click on Facebook, Facebook lead form submitted, and then you can literally do in form and pick, you know, I don't have a form right now, but you can pick the form that you set up. It will show it right here if you're connected to Facebook in your account. So that's how that works. And then let's say you picked um, one of the forms on Facebook and you want that person who submitted the form to be texted. So then you're going to click on text. And you're going to say, hey, custom name. So it'll say contacts, first name. Uh, thanks for signing up, you know, whatever it is. And you can just type it in and that's going to be your first follow up automatically so that you don't have to go back and call the person or text the person and follow up with them all the time because that's going to take way too much time and it's going to just it's not going to be as effective. So that's kind of how that works. But look what else you can do. So. You don't just have to send them a text message. You can also do emails, um, send them a message through uh, Messenger, through Facebook. You can send them a voicemail, a pre-recorded voicemail. You can have it manually call them, uh, manually text them, Google my business message. Look, I mean, and it just goes on and on and on. Look at all these different options here. So that is extreme. Like I obviously I can't cover all of them right now, but um, the other thing I love about Go High Level it doesn't, you don't really need someone to, um, you know, guide you through this. You can kind of just look at this and know exactly what it does. Like, oh, it adds to the notes. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, it assigns to a certain user. That makes sense. You know, they're, they're very self-explanatory with how these, how these work. Um, but one thing that I like to do is like, let's say I'm sending a text message. Um, and then I want to wait a certain amount of time before I send the second follow-up. So now I can wait let's say days, let's say wait seven days. If they don't message back in seven days, we're going to send them another text message. Wanted to follow up again, you know, whatever you're going to say, um, you can put in their name, you know, custom contacts, first name. Wanted to follow up again, see, you know, if you're still interested in this, um, interested in it, uh, whatever it is you're promoting, whatever business it is or whatever, um, ad you're promoting. Uh, cause this one was for ads. Remember we're doing this for Facebook ads. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, extremely, extremely effective. I think it's the only thing you can do at this point. There's nothing else that you can do in terms of Facebook ads. 
uh, at least for getting leads and doing follow up than in article forms and having some type of automatic texting that um, is linked to it. If you're not doing that or automatic email, good luck. <laughs> uh, message me and tell me what you do because I have no idea what else you could possibly do. Uh, now I want to show you, actually, I don't need to leave here yet. I'm going to do um, a CRM. So now instead of the trigger being a Facebook ad, I'm going to show you what you can use instead of that. So this is one that I use constantly. So whenever you look at a website, you're probably going to have a contact me on the website. It's going to say like contact the business, um, put in your name, number, email, we'll contact you, yada, yada, yada. Well, the problem with like 95% of businesses is that they have no idea where that goes. Um, they just know someone built them a website and they have a contact page and that's it. And they don't think anything comes of it. Most people are not, most business owners are not up to date with their websites at all. I've seen it so many times where they'll just be like, yeah, I have no idea where those go. Like people fill those out all the time and I have no idea where that, I think they send us an email or something. It's like, okay. So then you never get back to the customer and you lose that lead. So this is something that I do um, for every business, no matter who it is or what they do, is I go over and I do a form submitted. So it was just like the last one that we did for Facebook, except this is a generalized form, a form that we built inside of Go High Level. Uh, and then we can go on add filters and we can select the form and we can pick whichever form we wanted. So let's say it was for our cost analysis form. Now we have, our, whenever someone submits a cost analysis form, we'll save that trigger. We want to text that person and we want to text them immediately, not after like two minutes or three minutes, text them immediately. Um, that says, Hey, what, uh, tell us more about what you're interested in or what you're doing or whatever once again, this is completely dependable on what the business is. Uh, so that's another thing so that these, these people are getting texted. Cause you're going to look at a text way faster than you're going to look in the email. I think texting is going to replace it. You know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I'm a firm believer in text messaging over email. Uh, I don't even mess with email at all at this point. So very big texter. And, uh, I make sure that the, um, customer is getting texted, but here's one thing that, that not a lot of people tell you just because it's going to text the customer doesn't mean that you're going to know, um, as a business owner or as an agency owner running it. So this is what I always add. A lot of people don't remember to do this is um, I add in a notification that'll say, that'll notify me by text message and say, hey, this only goes to me, it only goes to the business owner or whoever I assign it to. So it's just something that notifies me when someone submits a form, hey, someone, submitted a form on your website boom save uh but before i save it we're gonna have to go on select user type we're gonna say assigned user um and then we're gonna save it there perfect so once it's once that's set up you're gonna get a notification that tells you hey someone submitted the form and then that person that submitted it's gonna get a text so now you're covered both ways. Now you know about it and they know about it. And that's all that matters. It's so simple. It's so easy. And it's like, I don't know why more people aren't utilizing softwares like this because it's just, it, it's so easy. So another thing I want to go over is that there's so many more than just form submissions for your um, triggers. Sorry, they're called triggers. So look at all these different triggers right here. We've got appointments in case someone books an appointment and you want to set that up. I can make a whole video on that or you can reach out to me and I can show you exactly how you do that as well. Um, but there's different like send a text message when someone books an appointment and send me a text message. So I know uh, you can do all of that. You can do birthday reminders if you do a restaurant kind of birthday gift type of thing. I see that at restaurants a lot. Um, hey, put in your birthday here on our website and we will send you a coupon or whatnot um, that allows you 50% off on your birthday. Uh, so that's that one right there, a call status, a contact change. These are all more intricate stuff, but if you keep going down the list, you can see a customer reply. That's another one. Um, this basically means if a customer replies to any of your campaigns, any of your workflows, like let's say you're doing like a campaign on Facebook and you run the campaign and you have a follow-up of like 15 messages and at the fifth message, the customer replies. Now what happens? You can make another campaign for when a customer replies and that could be the new trigger. So, Hey, customer replied to this workflow. 
you know, customer reply to, and then you can literally pick any of the standard fields or anything that you, you know, all the stuff that you've um, already made. And if they reply to any of those channels, you can have an automatic text back or an automatic tag or an automatic anything. It's something that texts you maybe, maybe another internal notification that says, hey, make sure to get back to this person they replied, um, anything like that. So, I mean, once again, I can go on forever about how many different triggers there are and how many different workflows you can make because you can, it's endless. You can just keep on making as many as you want, anything, task reminders, um, memberships. If you own a course or you run a course, I run a course and these are awesome. I love these. Um, membership, new sign up, offer access granted. I mean, it just goes on and on and on um, with how many you can do. And these are just triggers. This does not, this has nothing to do with all the filters you can do, all the different texts and emails, anything automatic that you want to set up. That, that's what I love about this go high level is because it, number one, it's really hard to explain to businesses. So I always just say this, whatever you guys want, I can do it. Like I feel so confident in saying that because I'm just like, you guys want an automatic text um, reply on Facebook for any time someone messages you on Facebook, sweet, done. You guys want one for that for Google too? Cool. You guys want a form and when someone submits a form to have an automatic text back and then a this, 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 whatever it is, we can pull it off on here in the workflow. And then they're always thrilled and like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't have to do anything. And it's like, yeah, everything's automatic now. You just need to know how to set it up and how to, how to run it. And that's what marketing agencies are becoming. They're becoming this kind of, you know, software specialists that can um, set these things up for businesses for way less money than what they were spending on originally. So that's why another reason why I love this software. It's unbelievable. It has changed my life and how I set up everything for different businesses and makes you more confident as an agency owner for sure. So I just wanted to go over a couple things like that. Obviously, I can't cover everything because I would be here for uh, hours and hours and hours, but you guys get the gist if you're marketing, if you're an agency owner, for sure, you understand exactly what kind of what this is and um, you know, how to set up all of that stuff uh, is pretty self-explanatory. If you're, you know, good with tech at all, even if you're not good with tech, it's, it's, it, you know, everything's kind of um, self-explanatory and go high level, but I would love to help you guys out if you guys get on here. And um, if you guys use my affiliate link, I will be messaging you and um, if you want, of course, <laughs> if you don't want any of my help, then obviously that's fine with me. But uh, I would love to hop on a Zoom call or talk to you guys and be like, you know, tell you everything that I know and, and teach you so that you can uh, get started and start profiting off this thing because it's it's amazing and it's still new. Go high level still pretty new and I think it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and I can't wait to make more videos on it and go more in depth into workflows because they're adding new stuff all the time. So whenever they add new stuff, I can't wait to get on here and show it to you guys as well. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I do workflows and how I set up most of the automation, if not all of the automation for the companies that I run this for. So hopefully uh, you gained something from it. And if you did, throw me a like, throw me a subscribe, and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to leave all my links in the description below if you guys want to get started on this or if you just want to throw me a text and um, we can talk about it or maybe a phone call or something like that. So perfect. Thanks, guys.